Oh, hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys. A while ago, Destin from Smarter Every Day Roll Tide. made an amazing video about tattooing in slow mo. You can check out that video right there. And I thought, because we've got some new macro equipment, it might be cool to revisit that video and see below the skin or under the skin, through the skin, mm. by tattooing some ballistic gel offcuts. <laughs> Also because neither of us are actually brave enough to get the tattoo ourselves. Very true. Mm. Okay, to start, I think we should just see the tattoo gun on its own, just see the needles come out. Ultra macro, about five times magnification here. I wonder if uh, every time you go for a tattoo, how many people you would discourage from getting a tattoo if you showed them <laughs> this first? I think this is going to look horrendous. <laughs> Have a look at this frame. Oof! That is ultra macro. Go. Oh, I think they go out of frame. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's goodness me. So how many needles are on this? I thought there was just one, but actually it looks like, what, like four really close together needles? To, like this is a, what, for lining. So you're supposed to create a line with this one. It's jobbling around all over the place. Let's see, it's in on nine and it's back on four. Five, yeah, five to six milliseconds per cycle. Flip. That is rapid. Something moving that quick is just insane, isn't it? I've never seen a plastic end on a tattoo gun. Well, I think the tattoo guns <laughs> you go to when you do it, you know, professionally, yeah. they reuse the... Not the $70 ones on Amazon? Yeah, no. No. These are just plastic nibbed bad boys. Plastic nibbed jobblers. Mm. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. That is so immensely small. <laughs> Can you put something in for scale, like your finger or something? Yeah, see, like that is how damn small those needles are. Oh, oh. It looks like something from Alien. You know, it like looks the... like the Xenomorph second mouth. Yeah, that, that's it. Oh, yeah. that's horrendous. <laughs> okay, I, was, I guess I wasn't expecting the surface tension of the ink to completely cover the needles. Like you can't see them individually anymore. No. God, this must have taken ages before electricity. <laughs> Okay, here's our little sliver of ballistic gel, mimicking uh, someone's arm. Yes, it definitely arm. 20,000 FPS. Oh man, that looks so deep. Doesn't it? Is that too deep? It's supposed to be one and a half mil deep, so it gets through the dermis of the skin and deposits the ink underneath. It goes much further than it puts ink, or is it going to start leaving trails of ink? I think it's going to start leaving trails of ink. The gel does actually kind of ripple just like the skin does as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, look. It's leaving like streaks of ink. Yeah. So does that mean under every tattoo is little spikes of ink like that? Must do, like it just, le the skin just grabs it. Like the needles pull it through capillary action and then the skin just grabs it and it stays there under the skin. I mean, obviously ballistic gel isn't skin, but yeah. to, get, to get the same effect, you know, it's as close as we can wow. get. Look at the ripple when it pops out. Look at the, the, the yeah, the surface of the skin just... You can actually boom. see, look, boing. You can actually see where the, the top layer of skin is like around the needle, and then it starts like sliding back up the needle as it goes in. Like that's like the area where it pierced, and it's sort of dragging that down. But then you can see it sliding and leaving a trail of ink there. You can also get ones that are like a bunch all in a row for creating like shading. Should we see one of those next? Yeah. Oh, and you're like poking the... Uh... <laughs> well, it's you're, really hard you're, like, to see. You're mushing it into the... You might be doing that a bit too hard. That's going really deep. <laughs> you might be just mullering this. <laughs> Don't get a tattoo by me, okay? Okay, this, so this is mo maybe not completely accurate. <laughs> From this close up, you can actually see the needle pushing in and the surface of the skin sliding up the needle. It's almost cleaning the ink off the needle, which leaves a pool of ink on the surface of the skin. And then as soon as the needle pops out, it sucks the ink down the hole that it left. It almost like It's almost as though there's no ink in there until the needle pops out and then ink rushes down the wound channel. That's wild. Like each individual one is an individual sort of wound where it's deposited yeah. ink. We've done our lines on our ballistic gel, our poor ballistic gel. Now we're going to do a little bit of shading in red. Lipstick red. Different type of needle? Yeah, different so arrangement? Different arrangement. Instead of sort of lots of tiny needles 
all in one spot doing this, they're going to be four or five, sorry, fatter needles in a line to create like a, a color, coloring in basically. I'm going to see what it looks like coming straight towards the macro lens. Might be quite hard to see what's going on because I think focus is maybe a third of a millimeter. <laughs> Oh, wow. You see it like going pin sharp. Oh, and then I can see what it is now. Before I couldn't, yeah. Weird. It's like, you know, uh, the keyhole surgery. <laughs> and we're entering the left ventricle. Oh! Yeah, you would just have no idea what that is, would you? No. Boom, 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 boom. That's, what, that's what your skin sees when it looks up. <laughs> it looks like, that could be anything. You could be like, oh, that's the, um, yeah, that's a vein in an owl's eye. I'd be like, okay, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> We could make up 10 different things that people yeah. would believe. I reckon you could get, give someone 10 guesses and they probably wouldn't get what it was. <laughs> I also thought that the uh, shading needles were in a straight line, but they're kind of like... Staggered, yeah. Yeah, they're staggered. Two and three. Yeah. So you're going to put a little bit of skin there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to set the focus not on the needles, but on sort of the underside of the skin. Okay. Okay. Go for it. Here we go. <laughs> All right. I think I've tattooed that spot pretty well. Oh yeah, you've reamed that area. <laughs> it's like under the skin looking up, but yeah. it's got the texture of skin somehow. You're like one of those fish that live underwater <laughs> that have a see-through head. You... <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow, it's just broken through the surface there. Yeah, so the, the needles are going to come out of focus, but I've kept the focus on the basically underside of the skin. Sure, okay. The whole jiggly thing is just jiggling. Look at all those spikes. You see all the little pricks wow. of color. And then each one of those will have like a little mm -hmm. string of, uh, of tattoo ink along it. Yeah. And then obviously as you move that along the skin, it will get, that's how you get your shading. That's insane. Isn't it? All those little tiny puncture marks. I think I, I, think I just didn't realize how deep it went. Obviously it's only like a mil and a half and yeah. we're seeing it massively enlarged, but it's still pretty savage, isn't it? It is savage. Like that to me doesn't look pleasant. <laughs> and we picked red, obviously. Because, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. But and obviously we're, bad at this. we're doing it also in the same exact spot. Yeah, yeah. Over and over, because the gel isn't skin. It doesn't have the same qualities of, of keeping the ink in. Like yeah, it, it you know the, to get the same effect of the ink it has to go slightly deeper. Yeah, this is just like a rough estimation, but I think it's it really illustrates. It's definitely illustrating something. Yeah. Like, there's definitely a visual there that I've never thought about. Yeah. Let's have a look at the cross section of your handiwork. Oh, it's so tiny, isn't it? It looks savage on the slope, man. It looks huge. It's only gone in that far. Yeah. <laughs> a small interruption now for the sponsor of this video, Lauer. Lauer is a brand of lenses that I've used many times over the years on this channel. They make the famous probe lens which is one of my favorite lenses. Here's all the times we've used it. As of today, they've just released the Pro Tube set. It's a set of three lenses. Firstly, all three lenses are now T8 instead of 14, each with slightly different functionality. There's a direct view, classic probe. The next one has the end of the probe tilted at 35 degrees, which we used in this video to look slightly up on the subject and avoid getting the shadow from the top of the probe encroaching onto the image. And what I feel is the most interesting one is the periscope. They did previously release a periscopic lens called the Periprobe. The downside to that, in my opinion, was that you couldn't put that camera on a tripod and look straight down into like a tank. You had to suspend the camera above. With this, you can actually have the camera on a tripod outside the tank, but the end of the lens inside the tank. So stay on the lookout for that video. If you want to get your hands on any of these lenses, make sure to check the link in the description. And just so you know, it is an affiliate link. I'm always very excited when a brand I've used multiple times in the past reaches out and offers to sponsor a video. So big old thanks to Lauer for offering to sponsor this one and sending over these lenses. <laughs> that's quite nice, isn't it? It's pretty nice. <laughs> Looks good. I don't know if that's put me off having a tattoo even more or whether I now want one. Well, I already wasn't going to get that tattoo I talked about before, but yeah. I'm definitely not going to get it now. <laughs> also, because neither of us are actually brave enough to get the tattoo ourselves. Very true. Mm. You have I, one I, a I, tattoo? Don't, I don't have any. I think I would get one. I just don't know what I'd put. 
Yeah, I um, I'm glad I didn't get what I thought would be cool a few years ago. What was that? Uh, a few things. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got to say now? I'm too embarrassed. <laughs> really? But you're too embarrassed. You don't have to say it. Do you want to say it? Well, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the video will have to wait just a sec. You know, like, um, I used to be working out and stuff when I was in the army. Yeah. And uh, you know how The Rock has, like, like a tattoo here? Yeah. Like a chest one like that, and it goes down his arm. I thought it'd be quite cool to get something like that. Just, just no. Isn't that like a Samoan... Yeah, well, that pattern is, yeah. yeah. But like, I wasn't going to get that, but I thought okay. it was something similar, like where it's, like, a peck and all that. Then I got fat, and I was like... <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't get that. <laughs> I have a newfound respect for everyone who sat through insane tattoo sessions, like full body. Oh, I've lost that. I dropped it. <laughs> a lot bouncier than yeah, skin. Yeah, it's not quite the same, is it? <laughs> yeah. Turns out, obviously, I'm brave enough to try and drop in off Tony Hawk's half pipe, 15 foot up, break my arm. But yeah, I think that that has made me too much of a chicken to actually get a tattoo. I think I'm right with you there. Mm. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that video or you found it disturbing. I think either emotion is fine here on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe if you like slow-mo and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.